Right now at 833, more than 6,000 local sailors are home after a seven-month deployment in the Middle East. We are so happy to say that the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower just pulled into the pier. We've got two crews there. Ten on your sides. Brandy Cummings is just outside Naval Station Norfolk. Good morning, Brandy. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, I just talked to my colleague Matt Gregory. He's actually on the pier with those families. He said the Ike just docked and he told me one of the things I said, you know, how's the atmosphere there? And he said it's cold, but you couldn't tell it because everyone is so excited. We do want to show you some of the pictures. He's been tweeting all morning and uh, talking about it and explaining through Twitter what's happening there. We are seeing signs from young people who are waiting on perhaps their parents or other loved ones to come. We're also seeing the Ike itself. Uh, I even spot it's Santa in one of the pictures that he uh, tweeted out. And of course, they have flags of all 50 states there as well. Quite the, an exciting day here in Norfolk and for all of Hampton Roads. In fact, I saw a sign um, for someone saying they were from Manio there and people from come coming probably far, even farther away. But all of this, uh, seven months in the making, in fact, these sailors left June 1st. And so they are back now. In fact, they are part of this uh, new goal by the Navy to have these deployments last seven months. So they're definitely meeting that goal. They're coming in just days before we're ringing in 2017. So definitely a good day. You talked about traffic, Lex. Let me tell you, it is still pretty bad here at Naval Station Norfolk. We heard from someone not long ago that said he's waited in traffic for over an hour. Um, and so it's still backed up in both directions. So if perhaps there is someone that is trying to get here, you may want to leave now. You may want to be already here or on your way here because traffic is backed up. Uh, a lot of folks still trying to get on the base. But there are hundreds of folks there already. They're waiting on their loved ones. Matt said he anticipates another 30 minutes or so before those sailors uh, deboard and they are able to greet their loved ones. He will have a live report coming up on Wavy News 10 midday with all of the highlights. Of course, he's tweeting, so you can see it there and also on wavy.com. And of course, he'll have live reports and full stories coming up later today. Wavy News 10, 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. For now, live in Norfolk, I'm Brandy Cummings. 10 on your side. Pilots with Carrier Air Wing 3 made their way back to Naval Air Station Oceana in Virginia Beach yesterday. The Wildcats, gunslingers, and swordsmen helped drop more than one million bombs over Iraq and Syria. This morning, they are catching up with their families. You see Daddy? There he is! Up, buddy? Hi. Oh, there he is! Go get him! Meanwhile, more than 200 men and women flew back into Chambers Field at Naval Station Norfolk. The Air Wing left home June 1st, and they've been supporting Operation Inherent Resolve ever since. Lots of hard work, lots of long hours, but it was worth it. I'm so proud of him. We're all so proud of him, and we're really thankful for all he's been able to do. And, of course, you'll find more happy homecomings right now on wavy.com.